Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss how to run higher order constructs in Adenco, also known as second degree models or second order models. Typically, we should use higher order models when there is a very high degree of correlation among the construct. Let me explain this in Adenco. Assume that we are having a very high correlation between any two constructs. It may be between job satisfaction or organizational commitment or organizational commitment and environmental perception. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this lecture series. Now the question arises, how to detect the, the presence of correlation? Also remember one thing, that when there is a very high degree of correlation among the two constructs, it gives the problem, it, the problem arises, that is the problem of multicollinearity. In such scenario, one path coefficient will become significant and another will become insignificant. How to detect the presence of correlation? Click on results. Click on structural model and you will have to go in interconstruct correlation. Here the correlation is calculated between the two constructs. In this table, you can see that there is a very correlation among the constructs. But for our learning purpose, we will assume that there is a very high correlation between environmental perception and organizational commitment. Remember one more thing, that working on second order construct or a higher order model is a compulsion of a researcher rather than his choice. This means that researchers should always start with the first degree model. If there is a presence of correlation, then only go for higher order models. Here, we assume that there is a very high correlation between environmental perception and organizational commitment. This is just our assumption. Let, now, after this, what we will have to do, we will have to click on scores. Make sure that the standardized construct scores are on. You will select all of them. It will generate the construct scores for all the observations. Three dots will appear. Copy. Now you will have to copy this in the original raw data file. Copy this here. These are standardized construct scores. After this, be, after this is done, you will again go back and click here and create the new model. Now, after that, import the data which you have created by pasting the standardized construct scores. You can browse it from here, choose. This is the same data file on in which the standard standardized construct scores have been pasted. After this is being done, press finish, finish. Now you can see here, at the fag end, you will have the standardized construct score. Simply pick it up, job satisfaction, organizational commitment, environmental perception, behavior of the co-workers, and the staying intentions of an employee. You can change the sign from here. Now connect it. We have assumed here that there is a very high correlation among org organizational commitment and environmental perception and therefore instead of working on two different constructs, we will club them into the higher order model. So let us delete this. Let us delete one of them. and. Environmental perception will be dropped in organizational commitment and we will name this as second order model or a higher order model. This second order is a combination of organizational commitment and environmental perception. Now I want to see that is the effect of this significant or not. Again, I will go in run control R. Make sure that you generate the random seed, use bootstrapping is on, generate, 
save and run. Once this is done, you will click on results, click on structural model, possibly, uh, sorry, bootstrapping. And in bootstrapping, you will be able to see the effect of second order model on staying intention of an employee. Here, the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore, we can say that the higher order models are significant. At last, you can, you should remember one thing, higher order models are to be used only when you are having a very high degree of correlation among the construct. Then only you should go for higher order model. For more videos on Edenco, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Kindly refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Edenco. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.